Okay, this is where we are. Apparently, the main reason why the chain keeps kinking on the other side, the motorcycle chain keeps kinking, is because you, uh, you can see you can see exactly how loose it really is. Right, I'm saying this one, I, I got this one pulled back as tight as it can go, and still be have enough slack to work right, but you can see how loose the motorcycle chain really is. So, I was digging around in the old bike bag, and right, I pulled out the tool. Right, this one here is a Right, this one is a sunlight chain tool. This is for regular motorcycle, you know, or excuse me, regular bicycle chains. We're, we're gonna get one for the motorcycle chain too, but anyways, and I found a couple pieces of some extra chain that we had stashed, brand new. So I have a one link, this is actually one link. This is one link of a chain, right? Two pieces, one link. Right, this one here is an extra piece of one, two links, you know what I'm saying? But I think I'm gonna go with the single link right here, so. This is a 3 8 chain right here, regular, you know what I'm saying? I got my master clip here, so I'm going to add this in, right? And then we're going to clip it so I can move, lengthen. Obviously, the problem is that the bicycle chain is too short, right? So we're going to lengthen it by a link so we can get it farther in drop out. So we can get it tighter on the motorcycle chain, you know what I'm saying? That should solve the problem. So that's where we're at right now. So here, let's just take the clip off. Oops. This going to be a little tricky. You know, once you get it off, you don't want to lose your pieces, so I always try to keep them together. Let's pop this one off the, the plate. And then, and pop the plate off, and then last one is the link, the clip. So there we are. Okay, so let me stop, set up, hook it up together, you know what I'm saying, and we'll go from there. Okay, um. You only need a couple of tools for this. Uh, I've already showed you one. I need a lift pliers. Second one, 15 millimeter wrench for the lug nut. Uh, third is the chain tool, right? For breaking, putting the chain back together. Fourth, most importantly, uh, latex gloves or whatever. I, we use these really good ones. You understand? Uh, Margaret doesn't like it when I get my hands all greasy and I touch everything. She says I touch everything. Everything under the sun. You understand? I'm one of those kind of people. So. The way you do this here is, you can, first of all, you got to figure out which way is which, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to go back together like this, all right? So, all right. so what you want to do is you want to put it in the chain tool. That's how it works. You put it in the chain tool like that. All right, then you got to push the pin out a little bit more so it'll fit in right. All right. Line it up on the pin. I don't know if you can see this or not. All right, push the pin out a little bit more. Till it's flush with the plate and then unscrew it right uh, now you take this part that we're putting together with this one and then snap it in there it's got snapped in now you set set the tool right back where it was All right. Just drop the link in I know you can't see this, but set the link in like that and then just twist it in. Twist the pin all the way in. Right, make sure it stays lined up right until you see the pin on the other side right here. All right, and then back off. Take the thing out there. Now we just added the link to our chain. Uh, now we're going to drop the master pin back in. All right, see? This one on that. This one on that. Put the plate. Put the plate. Get back on there. I like to check the needle on those pliers and squeeze it together to make sure it's seated. And then the clip. And the clip is usually the uh, easiest part, but when you're wearing like touch gloves, it's kind of tricky. All right, there you go. Just make sure you keep pushing it down. There you go. Click. Now, see, now we have lengthened our chain by this much. The next step, right, is, right, loosen the bug nuts and pull the chain back. So, let's do that. We're going to loosen this lug nut. 
This is this one nut. Alright, pull the chain back as far as we can. Still pretty loose though, huh? Now this one's tight and this one's loose. See, that's the problem with this mess here, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you gotta figure out which one's which. So, let me stop right here and think about this for a minute. I'll get back to you. Okay, the problem here is that instead of a whole link, we need a half a link. Right, so, and they do make half links, you know what I'm saying? Half link is just one of these, one of these pieces. It's usually this one with a little pin on one end, you know what I'm saying? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna call a couple places, Slippery Pig, some bikes up on, you know what I'm saying, maybe that place on Hatcher, the one that does, and see if anybody's got a half link in stock and selling a couple of bucks, and saying I could ride blue over there and get it, and come back and we'll finish this little task. But that's the problem, right? So now that I got the motorcycle chain tied, look, you gotta tie that one is now, it's just right on, look, we gotta lose this one, see, so. That's the problem. That's why this. That's why your motorcycle chain is always kinking up in the gear. If once once you one of your chains gets stretched a little bit, this is the one that's stretched. Once your chain gets stretched a little bit, and saying you have to keep, you have. That's why I made that video about chain maintenance. That's why you got to keep up on them. But this one here is, is the same length. It's that's all it is. This is the one that's stretching because it's smaller. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's under more stress. So, hey, that's the only way I know how to do it. Right, but that's the problem, so we're gonna see if we can solve it with a with a half link. Hang on. Okay. I seem to have gotten it. I did a little bit of adjusting over here with the spring and the and the thing. I I let, you know put it down one. The sand got a little bit of length out of the out of the chain, so I pulled it all the way back. It's fairly tight. It's tight enough to roll with right now. So I'm I called around and I'm, there's a place up on Bethany Seventh Street. Right, we just got the half link that I need, so I'm gonna zoom over there. It just should work. I mean, it's fairly tight. You know, the, my problem is, is that the bicycle chain pops off of the crank gear, and I don't have any brakes. And some of you guys are are, are experiencing kinking in this and that. But, but when my stuff's too loose, I get a kink here. It's kinked twice on me now in the last couple of days trying to get this figured out. But that's my problem: is my bicycle chain is too long right now. Right, so we're gonna go get the half link, put it on, and come back, finish this video. There we go. Patience, <laughs> patience, grasshopper. Well, here we are. I don't know if you can see it or not, but four dollars, three dollars ninety-eight cents for this little half link. But apparently, uh, the adjusting that I did, right? See, because I got a couple holes here and a hole here. The, the adjusting I did was what I did was I took the spring off of the bottom and put it on the top one. It tightened up the chain really well. I pulled it back as far as I could go, right? And Tighten the chain up really well. I mean, not real super tight, I'm saying, but but I got this half link. So speeder bike seems to be liking this. Hasn't kinked up. It started real good. I need to readjust the clutch, and that's what I'm gonna do here. But I'm gonna save this half link. See, so when this I start experiencing this problem again with the chain, I'm gonna take out the whole link and put in the half link. And that would probably solve it forever. But for right now, speeder bike seems to be liking what it's getting. So, that's what we did. Uh, adding a link to your bicycle chain to stop the motorcycle chain from kinking on your motorized bicycle. There you go. Thank you.